I am a big fan of Kirby. I love the approach the series takes with it being a much more chilled out series. Not being too hard, but also having some fairly difficult moments. I was pretty bummed out that I missed out on Triple Deluxe for the 3DS back in 2014. I saw that the game was getting good reviews and I promised to not miss out on the next game. And when Planet Robobot came out, I of course had to get it. Kirby Planet Robobot is just a delight to play. It has everything you would want from a Kirby game. The bright colors, the familiar faces, the relaxing level design, the return of classic power-ups and even some interesting new ones, and even giant ass robots. In this game, the idea is that a race of robots come and turn Dreamland into a giant mechanized world, and it's of course up to Kirby to beat them up. I liked how the game used this to its advantage by making old bosses more mechanized and change up their battles. They did this to Wispy Woods and turned them into Clanky Woods. It's too perfect. The use of 3D is also very well done. I know most of it is very similar to Triple Deluxe and that game did it first, but that's not a bad thing for this game to take that and keep rolling with it. I like the levels where little Waddle Dees would drive in cars up and down the roads, and I really like the casino levels where they would try to hit you with pool balls. I have to say, I love the idea of being able to go inside of a giant robot and go around to punch and beat up everyone. I also liked how it doesn't get in the way of Kirby's main mechanic. As the robot, you can still copy the abilities of enemies and have bombs, have fire punches, and have two giant swords for hands. There are also times where your robot will turn into a car and you have to go through the levels, avoiding obstacles and switching between the foreground and the background. These levels were some of my favorites. I also really enjoyed the bosses. None of them were actually too easy. The first few bosses were simple, but they still put up a good fight. My favorite boss is the last one, but I won't dare spoil it for you since it's pretty amazing. One of the bosses though gave me so much trouble that I was actually worried that I might not be able to beat him. This game is so simple with its collectibles, but it's so effective. If you get all of them in a world, you unlock the secret level in that world. The only negative I have with the game is that it forces you to collect these collectibles. Not all of them, but if you want to unlock the boss level to the world, you have to have a certain amount of collectibles. And I don't see why games do this. If you don't want to collect anything, you shouldn't have to. Instead, a lot of games do this, and I'm not a big fan. Rayman does this, and the recent Mario games have done this. It's a minor thing, but I still have some opinions on it. I have to admit though, I did 100% this game. It wasn't easy, but I eventually did it. The only games I have ever 100%ed were Kirby Squeak Squad, New Super Luigi U, Super Mario 3D Land, Ocarina of Time, and The Wind Waker HD. And now, I can add this game to that list. I am glad to say that Kirby Planet Robobot is now my favorite game in the Kirby series. If you have a 3DS and you have not gotten this game yet, what are you waiting for? Get it now.